Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of the World Conquest attempt. So last episode we did this. We with Mongolia, we took all of this land, I forgot to take Zhang Ye, and I forgot to white piece Korchin. So, you know, a few, a few mistakes are made and we might have to do this whole run again. But, to be honest, it's not going that badly. We're able to also take Renaissance, not Renaissance, um, Feudalism. We'll need to dev push Renaissance, but we can do that in the capital once we own it, because that's a cloth province and all that. And what we're going to have to do once we've dealt with these tribes is Clairwell and Caradel. Oh, oh god. What's happened? Yeah. I think what was happening was I lost. Um, I don't know, I won't pay attention. Anyway, we're going to have to declare, we declare war on Caradel and go in on Ming again. Because we want. You see, at least 5 loans. We want at least 10, maybe 15. We want to tank the Emperor's Mandate because zero mandate. You see all them top bonuses? Well, they ain't bonuses for him. And that's all I'm going to say. Right, but yeah, we've got a lot of money currently. Or we could build a fort. But, you know, soon we'll be raking in the money because we'll just be chaining warming. We'll take max money from him. And only max money. That'll put him down to a much lower um, truth timer. Uh, yeah, sure, we will marry Mongolia. We can't clear Warren Korchin, which is the original goal. We can do it on Karadel. That will call in Ming. Oh, crap. Anyway, that was my plan, and now I'm going to have to deal with this mistake. Yep, I just wiped 2,000 troops. Anyway, more misplays like that. I'll be right back. Right, okay, we dealt with the rebels, and now I'm going to go in on Karadel, because I'll call Ming in, and Ming is not in a very good position, I'm going to be honest. We're going to go in, we're going to take Harmi. Okay, the, the um, Khan did die, but that's alright, because we've still got a 5 shock general. All we really want is the fall of Ming, and we want a Ming explosion, which make taking all of China really easy. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hire a few mercs. Um, any good cav ones? That one's alright. Ah, we may as well grab them both. We got the money, and we got the time. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go in on that. We're going to go down there as well. And then we're going to have to take Zhang Ye and hope that we can get it. Because we are now coring at Beijing. It was not coring because we've, um, we're have we at war with China, but you know. Send them on to that. They have one siege. And look at all these rebels. We also, we could do the thing where we seize the Emperor again, that's possible. But I'll be back once these sieges are done, because I believe, we, yeah, we don't have that bonus anymore, so um, we'll have to be right back. So, we're not quite there yet, but I just want to say this is a very accurate representation of everything that's going on in Ming right now. Yeah, it's going on in Oirat, but at least it's less. Going on less because I want max money and I want Zhang Ye. We've almost got it. We've got two forts being sieged the capital and um, Chengdu. And I'm also using my little stacks to carve it siege just a little bit. Of course, oh, that's, that's annoying. Right. Okay. Anyway, we're just kind of doing a lot of carpet sieging and a lot of that. Ooh, the state does need the money. Oh look, Ming troops! They're really rare nowadays. That's, that's surprising to see them. And they're gone. I would also like to say Ming is still on Miltech 3 and we're working on Tech 4. 
Tick five, sorry. It, it feels like this is going to be a good run. But we just need to keep on top of our manpower. I feel like we're pretty behind on that. Here we go, we got max money, we're taking Zhang Ye, and we will get a um, truth until 54, so basically another year. But we should deal with that. Oh. That's already cored. That's a shame. Anyway. Right. Grab everything. Send it all back. And carefully avoid the rebels. So we can go and deal with our own. Hopefully. It's happening. It's happening. That. That mandate. Bankrupt! They're bankrupt! They're bankrupt. We need, we need, we need to make use of this. Right, we're gonna have to wait for Sarika gear though, because they are getting eaten. And Ming won't join. Ming won't join because it is bankrupt. Now we basically, we now we have free reign. We're gonna annex Mongolia, and then we're just gonna have a lot of fun over here while Ming is bankrupt. And then we can just start eating more of China. Because ultimately, I like doing things my way, not the way people have told me to do. It's good to learn, it's good to learn, but it's even better to be able to adapt. And we're going to have time to beat these tribes. And bring this guy over here. When's our truth with Cochin up? 61. Uh, we go with Fairy Gigi. Very good year wasn't declared one. Oh no. Did they. Defender against Gouge. Yeah, so Very good year won't get annexed. Maybe. Uh, is that the right general? Yeah. 50, what we're trying to do is save up as many points as we can so we can dev push Renaissance. That's what we're hoping for. We got money. Yeah. We want martial society because we're going to conquer the world. Right. Um, yeah, we're going in with gear again. Not again. For the first time. For the first time. Um, in Rebels. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit rebels. But now we have this fort, which will help us a lot against uh, Ming and many other rebels. And also, when we were invading Ming, caution, I think you misunderstand your position. Uh, bring these guys down as well. And we're going to go in on, we're going to declare on Farragut gear after they've got separate beasts. And after that we're going on calm. Basically what we've got to do is we've got to slowly encircle Ming. And then just all sides. So you know like go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Hopefully they'll have Ming exploded by then. And we'll be able to just, you know, absolutely dominate the region. Maybe, maybe peace them out now. Maybe peace out. The capital occupied. Maybe peace out. Yeah? No? Don't want to? I, I would advise it. Also, I like to turn this into a state because we don't have a free core. Ooh, we have a core there as well. We we'll keep that until 1594. We can have that for a while. We can't do that. But we have still yet to call Beijing. We're about halfway through that. Um, I just, I just want. Basically, I'm waiting. To this to be finished. Oh, you could assault that. You could assault that and finish it. I mean, this is a good time. Oh, not if your troops aren't there. But this is a good time to rebuild all our manpower while we're waiting for this war to finish and while we watch Ming just collapse. Because that banks me. And is everyone ready? This is this is some good um, some good uh, anti-Ming pawn. There it is. Ooh, that is 
absolutely destroyed. 21. Got 33. Look at all of that. That'll make Chinese conquest a lot quicker and a lot easier because it will be just a lot of full annexing. Let's have a look. Those are just Mongol tribes that don't count. Actually, they will if... No, they won't. Not. Since I'm working on it. Oh, pause. Oh, Saragia pieced out. There we go. Goo Ming won't join in. There we go. Also, I have no idea what um, ideas to pick as a horde. These ideas look pretty good. Horse government. Maybe Cavcom plus 25 Cav combat ability. You gotta tell me you'll get more of that. Uh, more Cav combat. Espionage. Um, siege ability with Diplo and shock damage. Hmm. Never, never look at these specific government idea groups. I should. I should do it more often because they are surprisingly good. We want money with that. And we'll send you over here to... Go on, just white piece. No? Okay. You give me access. Right, I'll be back once we've pieced out of this war as well and we've gone into calm. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. I decided to go in and deal with Mongolia's rebels anyway. And we have the horse god... Or a Devar. That is the best general you can get as a horde. Just sh pure shock. Absolutely demolishing people. <sighs> tasty, tasty. Anyway, yeah, as I said, I'll be back once we're going into calm. Right, here we go. I cancelled the mill access I took. Oh. Apparently, that. Oh no, yeah, 3rd of July. 30th of July. So Ming will not call, or Ming will not join, because they are currently having a very good time. Well, for us they're having a very good time. And, well, this is going to be pretty easy really. I'm going to use all three stacks. And uh, while, I'm, uh, while I'm doing this, because it's pretty easy, I'm just going to say sorry for uh, yesterday. I literally had no idea that I was going to get whisked away until the morning. It, it's fun I get told these things, but, you know, I, I get kept in the loop and all that. <sighs> but yeah, I, literally all I can do is say sorry. That, that, that's it. I, I can do little else. But, uh, you know, this one, this one was requested, this achievement run, so I thought, you know, may as well. I thought it'd be pretty nice, and I think I'm confident enough that we can pull it off, especially with a start like this. Our inflation is just a number. Um, we should just be able to get everyone to want a separate piece out if we occupy all the provinces and start sieging the capital. Um, today is also All Alive Debut Day, that's also fun, watching them streams, literally watching one now, muted though. Um, anyway, that's, that's a, you know, just a thing, fun thing to keep an eye on. Um, but yeah, I'm, I am just, literally just another quick in and out war while we wait for the Bank of Ming to open once more. Okay, that rhymed. Uh, we will be going to Korchin soon once our truce is up. Uh, I'm gonna siege all these. Will they peace out? Yes, they will. They'll give me... No, no, no. I don't want to do that because they are next. Well, actually... Ah, may as well. Money's money, innit? Money's money. Um, but 
yeah, I'll be right back again. Right, there we go. Uh, pieced out everyone for money, or as much money as I can take. We'll take that as well. And we're gonna, we can take calm. We can make, take max money. And only mean cares. Here we go. Right, and then we're gonna raise all. There's not much, because there's not much here. But mill points. Also, some do pay for their own coring cost, and it makes it coring cheaper. So I'm not one to complain. Uh, we've got a few rebels to deal with, but that is going to be the end of the episode. So here we go. Vast improvement over last episode. Especially this. This is the biggest improvement. And we are now close to Mong Kong, Sang. We basically take all of this and then. Actually, I think we start going into here. Start taking the Junchen tribe, who might cult shift to get the, um, you know, the special units they get banners. But uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Really, I've not, I've not decided that much. We have forts over here. Just leave them. Might as well. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone for watching again. Sorry for uh, yesterday, but um, uh, I appreciate those who do still come and watch. So. Um, Goodbye.